All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS animation by building a Ferris wheel. Step 23. So with our wheel selector, we created four different properties to control the animation. For our cabin selector, we can use the animation property to set all of these at once. Ah, oh, I wish we could have, would have did that in the first place, but then we wouldn't have learned anything, right? Uh, so now we're going to set the animation property of the cabin rule to cabins 10 seconds, linear, and infinite. And this is going to set the animation name, animation duration, animation timing function, and animation iteration count. So it's going to do... Come on, now, where were we? Where were we? <laughs> Didn't we just do something? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so it's pretty much going to do all these with just one and with fewer words, too, uh, just by saying animation. So we'll just do like animation, whatever, 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 whatever. OK, so let's come and do that. Let's come down here and say animation uh, da, 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 cabins 10 oops, seconds linear and in infinite all right and you see over here well let me put the uh best practice semicolon there but you see over here now uh the bottoms are all facing the the ground and it's looking really cool because uh, the main thing is going this way while these things are rotating this way just like the moon <laughs> anyway uh let's check looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to uh, step 24, and we'll see you next time.